All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. And today we're doing a comparison between the Elgato ring light and key light. The main shot of this video is with my A6600 with the stock kit lens. Now one of the advantages of a ring light is you can put your camera in the center of it and you get well lit. Now one of the problems with a ring light is well you're staring at a ring of light and it's kind of bright. The other issue is well if you wear glasses it's not well diffused. Now as you can see I've got the control head for the key lights. They're both set to 5600K consistency and that's what I like to film at clean white light. The camera I'm using for the main shot, the one you're going to see, not the one with me in the background with the desktop, is my Sony A6600 ISO set to auto. So the camera's compensating when I do changes because we want to do some changes. And the standard 18 to 50 millimeter kit lens. Now depending on the camera you're using, and how bright the light is is going to comp is going to you know determine. I mean that's at what one per three percent, and obviously that's a hundred percent, and it's going to take a minute for the light to compensate. Now one of the problems with the key light is it's not really diffused that well. That's one of the issues. You've got a very bright light, possibly bright light, but you have a mount in the center to mount a webcam or camera to, well, capture the shot. One of the problems I have with the key light is the whole point of it is to mount a camera in it so you can have a nice shot with light right on your face. The problem I have with the Elgato key light is the camera mount, well, sucks. It works fine for like a razor or webcam kind of thing. But once you get into heavier A6600s, like if I put my Sigma lens on there, I it will not stay up. It barely stays up with the kit lens, which is a problem for me. So it's not ideally suited if you're doing heavier DSLRs. It just, it doesn't like to keep them where you want to set them. It works fine. And if you're doing a webcam, like, you know, right there, I got a webcam on me. It lights fine for that. And you can put a webcam in the center and it holds it fine. When you get to heavier cameras, my A6600 is, has a cage on it, which, you know, adds weight. That's one of the drawbacks of the A6600 is the flip up screen, a box where you mount a mic or anything like that so you kind of have to put a cage on it if you want to do an external mic. I shoot my main channel with an A6400 and love it. Now the ring light is good for a lot of situations but not great in any of them. Because of its ring, if you wear any type of glasses, you will get a ring in your glasses which will affect your shot a lot um, because you just can't diffuse it enough. Now I am currently being lit only by the Elgato key light. I'm recording this video to an SD card on my camera and recording the rest of it in OBS on my computer, which I could run it to my capture card if I had a long enough cord for my camera, but I don't, so I can't. This is the kind of shot you can get with a Elgato ring light. Next, we're going to show you how it works with a Elgato key light. All right, so here we are with the Elgato key light set to the same 30%. The camera is the same. It is mounted on an Elgato flex arm mount, so it is actually closer to me. So a little bit more, you know, just closer to me. It's, I can't go any further back on zoom because, well, I'm zoomed in. I'm at 19 millimeters and I, if I go any further out, my green screen shows. So, but we're at 30% right now. We This is way too bright. So we can come down 
a good bit. Now, admittedly, I'm not lit. Ideally, in this situation, I should have a secondary key light just to fill the side of me, but I've got the key light on me and it is doing a better job of not blinding me because once I actually turned it off, I could see the ring in my eyes and I won't get that with this light because I'm already down to 20%. So it is a much more diffused light than the ring light. And that is one of the best features about the key light is it is a much more diffused light. Now, one of the options with the key light is you can actually, if you have a white wall, you can flip it around and use the wall as a bounce board if you have enough room behind your desk. I don't, and I have cream colored walls. <laughs> It wouldn't work well, so I can't show it as an example, but this is the key light at 20%. Now, depending on your camera and how you want to situate it, that's at 7%. And you can still see me very well. Admittedly, that's going to depend on your camera and how well it does in lower lights, but that's 100%. So I think, honestly... Let me turn that back down. Now, keep, and also keep in mind, I do not have any other lights on. I literally am only being lit in this shot by the Elgato key light, in the other shot by the ring light. No other lights on in the room whatsoever. It is a completely dark room. It, there's no windows in here. There is no ambient light unless I have lights on. So this is what you get from the key light. Now, honestly, if I were to buy them all over again, I would buy key lights every day of the week. The camera mount for me is kind of useless. So the ring light really doesn't do that well for what I use it for. I use it when I'm doing screen captures and that kind of stuff with the razor but I don't normally put a camera in there because, well, the mount sucks. I mean, I, I did a video on the flex arm and it has the same problem. If you put a heavier camera in there, it just droops. So it's not an ideal situation. Now, where I got this camera mounted right here, it is actually resting on my monitor. So I know it can't sag. And as long as the, the ball mount holds my camera where I need it, it's not gonna go anywhere. But I did a video on that about the sag of these flex arms. They're okay. The heavier cameras, they just don't hold them out far. So, but anyway, <laughs> I digress. My point of this video is, is if you're choosing between a key light and a ring light, understand that if you're planning on using the ring light, understand it is not a well diffused light and you're gonna to have to play with settings a lot more than the key light. The key light is a much more diffused light and it looks better on camera versus the ring light, especially if you wear glasses. Now the key light is gonna do some of the same thing because you might have the blocks in your glasses. But again, if you've got a white wall, turn it around and use the wall as a bounce board. Now I don't have that option, as I said, but for me, ring light is just a no-go. You're much better off getting a key light or the key light airs. I mean, the key light airs are tabletop mounted. They're a little smaller, but more or less just as powerful. As always, hit record, hit upload. Thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.